Okay, so I've got my little painting area set up. And I've decided on a charcoal at the bottom that will blend into a blue-gray at the top. So that's that's what we're doing. Okay, so we have the first coat of paint on. It doesn't look very blended because the first coat never does. So I just have to wait for it to dry out now. And we'll be ready to do the second. the last coat on one of the pieces um you just saw me doing wowza this is yes you could say hi hold on baby um so as you can see it's still wet so the blend's not as great as it's gonna be once it's sealed but the blend is much better than you know you can see the first the first coat is not blended at all it's just kind of like a base coat and then once you get into the second coat you can really really get things good okay final coat is finished on the other side of this one and now i'm going to do the final coat on this side as you can see it's not super blended because it's just the first coat so the second coat will be what kind of seals it up and makes it look nice um i painted over the stickers down here because there's really no need to have this painted at all but just for the sake of cohesiveness I just painted over them I'm not terribly worried because all of this is the inside part of the bed um so if you're seeing a little weird patches it's because they're like the warning stickers that one we don't need and two they're going to be covered but I can't just have them on there and I wasn't going to take them off so um yeah I'm gonna get started on this I am liking um starting from this top side, the lighter color, and working, I go top color first, and then I'll go the dark color, and then I take my middle brush, and then the two other brushes, and blend in the middle as I go, because I just like the way that it works when I've done the top, and that changes for every piece, but for this piece specifically, I've enjoyed doing the lighter color first, so I'm going to get going with this. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, um, I store my brushes in a Ziploc bag so that I don't have to rinse them out every time. And then I spray a little bit of water inside to keep them extra moist. So I'll just respray them. I do spray inside the paint a little bit. Um, these two paints are, one, they're different. This gray one is a blend of my own, so uh, it's quite a bit of a different texture than the charcoal color, but it doesn't seem to be mattering for anybody who's kind of worried about that. I'm, I feel like all chalk paint is pretty forgiving, 
so I'm never too terribly worried about what I'm doing with it. Okay, now that those two are done, I'm going to do the middle section and that's when we'll blend and get everything all together. I'll try and get you guys in closer so that you can kind of see the blending. Okay, this is the final coat on this side. As you can see, it's much better blended and it looks lovely. It's going to look even better once the um, poly is applied and it doesn't have uneven spots of wet and dry. But so I'm going to pull out the other one that's like just up here. If I can get that to turn right there. And I'm going to get that one going next. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Okay, we are starting on the big guy now. Um, I've gone back and forth about how I want to tackle this because the sides I've done from uh, the bottom to the top, dark to light. And then this, I was thinking I could do some shading in here, but I think what I'm going to do is just keep it consistent and do the dark on the bottom up to the light on top. And then, that's my dog. He feels the need to dig at his bed to make it more comfortable, even though it's it doesn't do anything. <laughs> um, so, and then I will just do, I think, the stenciling on this panel to, like, make that pop. Because I'm going to do stenciling here, and then if you notice the squares along the bottom of the other, the two end pieces, those are going to have stencils too. So, let's get started. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is kind of this pattern, how it's a little high here, it'll drop down here, and then come up in the center, and then the same on the other side. I feel like I enjoy that.
this is dry and ready to have the second coat put on. Um, this one is ready as well, but since this one here is finished, I'm going to give it a quick coat of poly so it can be drying while I'm then doing those guys. And before I do poly, I'm just going to do um, a quick round of some light distressing because there's quite a few um, designs in this. I'll show you on this side. Maybe I'll show you good grief. Okay, so there's quite a bit of fun stuff going on that I just want to bring out with some distressing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just have some 220 that is really used up. So it's, you know, probably a little higher than that, but I'm just gonna run some 220 over just the edges and everything. And it will kind of help blend in the inside of the like rungs here. So I'll do that, dust it off, and then I'm going to toss some poly on it. So I just have some polyurethane. This is a satin and um, I'm using satin because I don't like the high shine of things, but I want there to be something that like is a little easier to wipe down than matte. So that's where we're at. I'm pretty sure I have enough to finish this whole project. I have just under a half a can, so fingers crossed. Oh, good. Is he hot? That is really hot. What do you think? Do you like your new bed? I like my new bed. Can I jump? Yep, you can jump. Oh, hi. So, bed's finally finished. Um, this is kind of the end of this section of it. 
Um, I finished all the front, the sides, everything. The back is still actually blank because I have some things on order that aren't here yet. So I will do another video showing that because I'm pretty excited about it. It'll be my first time doing it, but um, I'm going to do something a little extra on the back because I needed to do something on there anyways. And I figured why not try something that I haven't tried before because it's on the back and it won't matter that much, but it'll give me practice to do something, you know, else for the future. Um, but so the baby loves it. He thinks it's awesome. He loves jumping on it. And I like love the way the quatrefoil turned out. I could have spent a little more time on my blends, but I was in kind of a rush because um, Sarge kept trying to get on the baby's bed. So I had to get this built and put together stat so that we didn't keep having to move the baby's bed every time we left the room because we would come back and find do the dog on it. So this is as good as it's gonna get. And I, I actually, I love it. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Had I had a little bit more time, it'd be this much better. But I really enjoy this. It doesn't bother me having a toddler bed in my room. I think it, you know, it's nice. It's adult and like I said, the baby loves it still. So that's exciting. Um, there's a couple other things I'm gonna do to, cause I, I hadn't put the mattress on. So there's a couple metal pieces on the side that need to get painted that I wasn't, I thought would be covered, but they're not covered. So this is my first time seeing it put together aside from like an itty bitty Facebook picture. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I um, hope you found some inspiration in it and I will see you next time.